legalizing pot has been a hot topic in the Ohio State House for years. But today, medical marijuana is one big step closer to reality. Local 12 Sydney Benter has been looking into the issue. And Sydney, what would this bill do? Hi, Cammie. House Bill 523 would legalize and regulate medical marijuana in the state. Patients with qualifying medical conditions could use an oil or a vaporized form of cannabis, not smoke it. A commission, and, a commission, I should say, would be established to set licensing rules. And a year after those rules are adopted, the program should be fully operational. For one mom, that's not quick enough. Come on, sissy. Baby Savannah is reaching milestones her mom Scarlett thought were impossible just a short time ago. It wasn't until December when we weaned her off of the medication that she went from not being able to function to holding her head up. She's crawling now and she's, she's really a completely different baby. 16-month-old Savannah has a rare form of epilepsy that her mom says has drastically improved with the help of cannabis oil. Scarlett went to the state house to share her daughter's story a few months ago. She doesn't feel like she was heard. I feel like we should be able to access as soon as the bill goes through, not one to two years from now, because kids like Savannah don't have one to two years to wait for this to pass through. Scarlett supports a ballot initiative that's broader than the bill working its way through the legislature. There are mixed emotions about the best way to address the issue. It is correct for the state legislature to take a good look at this, see if they can come up and craft a bill that that is narrowly focused. Should it be a bill or should it be taken to the people and be in the Constitution? And that's where I'm kind of, because I'm always a believer in the people. I always think the people know best. Paula Mounts has been canvassing on behalf of Ohioans for medical marijuana to get an amendment on the ballot this November. It seems unfair. Paula, who struggles with epilepsy, says she's happy to see progress, but doesn't think this legislation is the answer. We're going to keep on fighting for our amendment um, to try and override this because we believe our, our bill is better. It fits more people and it'll, it'll help a lot more Ohioans. And State Representative Alicia Reese, who you saw there speaking to her colleagues at the State House, voted against the House bill. She suggested voters could come up with a better plan. In addition to Ohioans for Medical Marijuana, Grassroots Ohio is also pushing for an amendment to be put on the November ballot. Cami. All right, Sydney, thank you. And the bill now goes to the Senate. It could be on the governor's desk by the end of the month.